Squirrel. All right, so we've made it to Squirrels, and we have world famous Big Mike. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Pete. We have a squirrel. Is that Hunter? Yes. Say hey, Hunter. <laughs> we are here <laughs> with world famous Chad. How you doing, man? Oh, man. This is one of my personal life heroes. He's just here to see us off and convey last wishes to the family should this not work out. <laughs> <laughs> well, squirrel's looking good. Come on, give us a pose. Like an Atlas pose or something. Yeah. There you go. That's a, like, man, that's vintage. 1980s. Bob LaPointe comp. Good grief. Looks like. It's pretty, look pretty, it's pretty tight. <laughs> <laughs> what was it's, it's what? Working, it's tight. Do you, have, do you have something in your first aid kit for that? Do they have a squirrel in I need a neck knife on <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let me get that thing zipped up. <laughs> I think we're ready to go. Chris getting his skirt on. You feel warm, but it's Don't know what are you doing, man? <laughs> you no, 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 no. You ain't gonna need that. Oh, yeah. He's putting pants over a wetsuit. Hold on. It's like a first time wrestler in a gym, not sure what to do. <laughs> this thing's kinda tight. <laughs> Woo, nearly. I can't move. <laughs> And so from a nondescript boat ramp, with good friends and good laughs, we started our little journey. And this little river would be full of surprises and adventure. So we are underway here. Uh, from the put-in, we're coming down just about a mile, I think, and there's going to be a dam. About a five-foot dam. I think I hear it. I think we're going to need to portage it on the left, but uh, this is the mystery one. Uh, I'm in my dry suit, feel pretty good. I got Chris over here, he's in his surfing wetsuit, he's good to go. Squirrel is, is soldiering up with a 1980s wetsuit. Of course, I'm sure you saw it. He's having a little trouble keeping circulation going to parts of his body. <laughs> but he's warm, he's not cold yet. So here we go, first obstacle of the trip, dam number one. That's no five foot dam, Jack. <laughs> And every good adventure, be it big or small, must have the element of surprise and the unknown. There's almost no information on this river and we were taking it as we found it. And less than a mile in, we were staring at the face of a 25 foot unexpected. But that's what we came here for. A cold weather exploratory run on a little known river. It was a perfect recipe for a perfect weekend. A small group of like-minded individuals with a passion for exploration and the ability to keep spirits high even when things go wrong. That's what you're looking for on a run like this, with a winter storm pushing in. No matter how bad it gets, we'll still have fun. If you ever find yourself in a wetsuit making a portage over rocks in January, with temperatures around the freezing mark, be sure to take a picture to show your grandkids one day. Perfect.
guys had what I call the wiggles. Just being rusty from not being in a boat. They'd have to shake them quick. No one wanted to go in today. There were a couple moments early on in these manky technical rapids that the guys almost met the beast. Paddling in the dead of winter allows you to get to know a body of water, the surrounding wilderness, and yourself in a much deeper way. There are no secrets. What's real is laid bare and plain to see. There's no distractions, no things to hide behind. Just you, winter, and the world. Ah, uh, nothing like a good 30, it's probably like 33, 33 degrees maybe. It's not gonna get up to 40 today. Yeah, man. And, yes. I don't know if the smoke's picking up on there. Some nice warm coffee. Yes, yeah, so we're making our way. We're only, we're probably about uh, four miles into the trek here, trying to make 15 today. And we've been in this second uh, damn backwater for quite a bit. And it's the big one. We're just enjoying a little coffee. Remember when our songs were just like prayer, like gospel hymns that you call. Come down, come down, sweet reverence Until my simple house and rain And rain Sometimes the difference between a bleak winter day and a warm memory Danger to be avoided and an adventure to be had. And I can't do it versus I just did it. Sometimes the difference is your perspective. A ring like silver, a ring like gold Ring out those ghosts on your high Ring like clear day Come to me, 
What's the world spelling ways I'm ashamed I'm going crazy, couldn't you tell? I threw stones at the stars, but the whole sky fell. And now I'm covered up in straw, belly up on a table. Well, I drank and sang and passed on the stage. So we're portaging the dam, pretty steep, a lot of pine straw. We've come up the other bank, and we got to come down, reset on the pine tree, and uh, then come down the rest of the way. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty steep. Uh, so squirrel's at the top of the road, and the front guy's doing his best to keep his footing. Kind of Back guy's keeping the, uh, the thing from going runaway. Get the pine tree, we reset, come on down. Some of the fun you can have on a trip. We got the boats down here. Now we gotta figure out where we're gonna put them in the water. And uh, sometimes that can be a little bit of a challenge. The bank here is very rocky. And just finding a suitable spot for that sometimes. Sometimes you gotta make the most of what you got. Sometimes you can you luck out and it's always good, but this time it's probably going to be a make the most of what you got kind of thing. There's no great place to do it. That's just the long and short of it. That is likely where we're going to do it. Maybe right there. It wouldn't be too bad. The guys are off down the river just looking a little bit, but that's going to be a pretty good tote. And I think it'd be a lot more work than sitting right there and getting in the control place. So here they are. Did y'all find anything? So we're uh, kind of running gunning on the run here. I got uh, some MRE stuff. Squirrel, Squirrel got a bag of MRE parts. And that, that kind of stuff's perfect for a quick bite on the run. Um, and as a, I showed you my, my dry suit, under the skirt there's this area with a relief zipper for when you need relief. The wetsuit does not have a relief zipper and squ squirrel, squirrel's in trouble. The zipper's on the back and you can take bribes at this point. How bad does he need to pee? Maybe not too bad, but I help a boy out. This would be our last portage. We wolfed down a quick lunch talking, told stories, and we're excited to get on the river again. We are looking forward to the rest of the day and what the adventure would bring.
This was a beautiful little river. Much more scenic and better rapids than we were expecting. Recent flooding from the hurricanes had greatly altered the landscape. It was a neat contrast, a view I'd never seen on any river before. Miles and miles of destruction. It held its own beauty. We couldn't get past the unique look of these riverbanks. The devastation that the floodwaters brought on these lands will be evident from years to come. Yet, it was beautiful. This bridge also stood as a testament to once was. Half of it's gone, and we never found it. Maybe it was washed into some old thickety creek somewhere. Who knows? With only about an hour left of daylight, we started setting our eyes to a place to camp. This big island will do.
Okay, so we had a, a cold sap the batteries. I've had them in a pocket to warm them up. And uh, I thought I lost one a second ago, but I got lucky. Found it in my pocket. We landed on this little beach down here, and we're on an island, pretty big island, and uh, just enough room to kind of, well, there's plenty of room. The problem is all this debris is just insanity. Uh, Hurricane Florence, Hurricane Michael, and the other rainstorms have, uh, I mean, the only word for it, it, they just got, they just got ravaged around here. If you look at this landscape, uh, and I'm sure you've seen on the video, mountains of debris. So all the places where there would be good camping on these islands, it's just it's just a giant rack line, one side of the island to the other, left to right, front to back. But we found this one little sandy area, um, uh, which is going to work a little tight on some of the hammocks, but uh, we should have enough firewood, and it's some good stuff too, real. Real snappy. So we got our fire built. Chris put that together for us. Uh, and then before we lost light, we figured we'd go ahead and kind of get everything tied up and uh, strung up for the night. How you feeling? Is it gonna work? <laughs> it's a little bit magoo would be the word. Sure. That, that's a good word. <laughs> I agree. We might have to help Chris out here. It's fine. It's not too bad. Are you sure you're good for it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I might put some here, but like uh, my rain jacket. So yeah, we're good. Okay. That's how I mean, it's only a winter storm. Exactly. Right. What could go wrong? You gotta be dumb. You gotta be tough. <laughs> Squirrel just looking right. He's rocking out to Bob Point. So uh, I'll save a little battery. Um, gotta get everything else charging. When we get the fire going, uh, we're gonna cook a little dinner and uh, we'll show that to you in a minute. All right, so we are here in my winter shelter. Uh, light fading fast, we're about to get the fire going. Um, we kinda came right to the edge of the day. So uh, not a whole lot of time left before dark. We're set up, if you can see the, the outfitting I got here. I don't know if you can. It's just too dark in here. But, uh, I got my hammock gear quilts getting their loft kind of fluffing up and eat a fire eat a, eat some dinner <laughs> shut your mouth eat a fire. and I <laughs> eat dinner by the fire it's gonna be great we got a fire going now let me show you what we're doing we are grilling up some steaks and they look fantastic my wife marinated these two my squirrels got one he brought but uh, it is looking good. What do you think, Chris? I'm gonna check this one out. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah, they look good. That's they sound good. Uh -huh. Want a flipping stick? No. Let's watch him do it. How, how does the pro do it? You just gotta check it. Oh man, that looks that looks fantastic. That's a big old thing. Oh, oh snappy! Yeah. Oh, what's he doing? It's just a little ash, oh, bro. No. He ain't it's ready fine. for prime. You want a flipping stick? No. No, you could. Okay. I want you to be prime. And that looks good. Some of you guys missed it. You know who you are, but these steaks are looking good. You need more heat there, Chris? Yep. You want to... low garden the coals there a little bit. Well, why don't you, uh, why don't we get this right? Give me a... Uh, that stick will work. Get it on there a little more. Careful. Oh, yeah. Look at there. Mm -mm. Sounds good. What do you think, Squirrel? How's the steak? Good. Let's see you take a bite of that thing, man. Oh, yeah. That's eating like a king right there. That's what I'm talking about. Chris smoking down a brownie. It's a pretty mean brownie. Thanks to my wife for the brownies. Really good fire at the end of a long day. Uh, got a big day tomorrow. A little more miles than we were wanting to do originally. But we just got, uh, we just got clobbered on the portages couldn't uh couldn't make the time we wanted and the days are shorter in the winter and we got started just a little later so tomorrow we got to make about i think it's going to be about 13 miles uh before one o'clock so that's a pretty fair task so we're thinking getting started maybe no later than eight and see if we can grind these things out 
So until tomorrow. All right, here's what we got going on, everybody. It rained all night. So I'm in my beautiful hammock camping super shelter. Everything's packed up in this corner down here. Uh, ready to go to the boat. It's been pouring rain, so we're just kind of giving it a minute. Uh, got my jet bowl cooking my breakfast. Water, we're gonna get that in there, then we're gonna boil some water for the uh, smagicino this morning. So, these are all my dry bags, minus a couple items uh, to pack in the boat. Hammock I've taken down, packed it away, and it allows me to just kind of sit and chill completely out of the wind, out of the rain, out of the ice, snow, whatever's going on. Like I said, we got to camp just a little later than we wanted to, so we didn't have the, a lot of filming light, so, and that's the break sometimes. These GoPros need a lot of light. And I don't carry a big light to film myself. Maybe I should do that. But my water's boiling. So let me get that going. So if you're going to do this, uh, you need to stay warm and have the right gear. So number one is the dry suit. Uh, I'm sure you saw that yesterday. Uh, under the dry suit, I have this fleece and this silk weight. And the same thing going on on pants. It's kind of got a little stirrup thing underneath the uh, underneath the pant there to keep it from pulling up and a silk weight and I wore this yesterday when I got to camp I was bone dry I took the fleece off to sleep so I slept in the silk weights with my beanie cap and this morning I just put the fleece back on and if these get a little damp they'll still keep you warm but I've been dry so having the right gear to keep you dry and warm is going to be the difference between whether or not you enjoy winter camping Summer's easy. Uh, winter, you have to have the right gear. Uh, we're finishing breakfast up here. You're boiling, lad. Very good. You got the boil? That's what we want. He's making his coffee. Fiery hot coffee. Fiery. I try to talk like an Irishman sometimes when things suck. Chris is pretty good at it. Give, give us a if good I'm run. If I some water, I'll have my coffee. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, winter camping is well, not that was fun. Great. You used your can to boil mine. I really appreciate it, Lottie. Yeah, that way I didn't have to move to water. Yeah, that's really nice of you. So, so look at it go. Breakfast skillet, coffee, freezing cold weather, and a couple good buds. If you can't get this any better, wait unless it rains. Oh, and it did that. So yeah, we're having fun. Oh, it's gotta rain. Mm. The old tools. You'll be warm in a minute, lads. Hang sure in there. Will be. I'm sure we will be. <laughs> Sitting by the fire with a nice snifter of brandy. <laughs> I really apologize because I can't stop talking like this. <laughs> the worse it gets, the more the more Irish comes out.
the sea and everywhere we go as happy as can be All the mountains and the valleys and the rivers and the streams are the lovely places you've seen in your dreams I'll give you the heavens, the stars and the sky, every wooded creature, every bird and butterfly I've never had a fortune or a penny, will you find you my only treasure you can leave all the rest behind Come on, way, way out into the water with me We're drowning on dry land Come on and way, way out into the water with me Come on and way, way out into the water with me We're drowning on dry land Come on and way, way out into the water with me All right, so we are tracking along at about five miles an hour steady. Uh, max speed is 7.5 miles an hour in uh, constricted spaces, but the rain we received last night, and I guess it started about 9.30 and didn't stop till about 8 this morning, uh, has risen the water level significantly. Um, and you can see the, the brown turbid water coming in from the feeder creeks is pretty, pretty heavy, so it's it's really helping out our mileage today because we were, with the portages yesterday, a little behind the eight ball uh, as far as mileage where we wanted to be, and we were really going to have to pump it today. Uh, so we got on the water about nine, and we've been just rolling pretty steady. So we're looking good. So we did a little dancing, did a little eating. Uh, we're a little bit anxious about whether or not we meet our one o'clock deadline and how hard we'd have to paddle to achieve that. But I think we're kind of settling into it now and enjoying the day. Onward! The river took a drastic change in character somewhere around our campsite island. The hills and small mountains gave way to lowlands and farmland. The river slowed down straightened out. And we saw the first trees left in the river from the flood. With water being able to get out of the banks, it released some of the pressure. The granite slab scenery on the banks gave way to mud and sand. And the last bridge on the trip marked the beginning of the end of this river. We were looking for a confluence with the bigger river. One that would take us home. It was sad to see it coming, but in another way it was a relief. So we said goodbye to our little river and cornered our boats downstream. A few miles on this river, a small cut, and upstream on a small creek would get us to the truck. Our adventure was coming to a close.
All right, the boys are coming up with the last boat. Watch the turd. We made it. It's 12:57 right now. The truck's supposed to show up at one. We'll see how close Big Mike is to on time. All right, right on time. Big Mike. That's the ride home right there, boys. What I'm talking about. That's right. All right, so uh, we just had our Wendy's. Mike, thanks again. He dropped us off, picked us up. Anytime. And this is the world famous Big Mike. <laughs> Search and rescue, swift water, special S -S response team. <laughs> He's got it all. He's the man. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt, wore it out, bought another one, gave it away. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, thank you. It's nice to get out with Squirrel again. It's been about a year and a half since I've had it with either one of these two cats. It's been uh, but uh, we're going to do it more often. Thanks again, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. The adventure is over. We're back here at the house. We've got Chris all loaded up. Ready to go back uh, to the Ice is melting. The sun is almost trying to peek out. I see little bits of blue sky up there. And uh, it's just been a fantastic weekend, man. And Absolutely. Appreciate it again. It was Super good to get fun, out there man. with Chris. Super fun. Super fun. Good adventure. It's been about a year and a half since I've uh, been on an adventure with Chris and Squirrel. We we whitewatered some at the beach when I was down near his place last summer, but yeah, I didn't I didn't put it on video. We just tried to kill each was, other in the surf. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty beefy. Yeah. But man, have a safe drive, and we'll catch you on the next one. Absolutely. Thank you. See you, brother. See you. And so ended our little adventure. It had been a good one. Chris and Squirrel got out of the routine, and I got to hang with a couple good friends. And we all enjoyed a beautiful little river. <laughs>